Guided by Conscience. May 17, 2014. Have you ever thought why is it that regardless of your continuous accumulation and random contemplation of experience, that consistent wisdom continues to escape you? Try to comprehend that true wisdom is not something that can be created, developed, or taught. Wisdom is something you open up to through the purity and unity of your own sweet will. It is well known that the ultimate source of wisdom rests within the divine realms. Wisdom from its divine source is passed from this heavenly realm for each of you to discover on your own, through your own intuition of what wisdom is, and how it connects you to the divine and its true ultimate source. One of the most vital aspects for discovering wisdom is that it requires you to get in touch with your sensitive inner self, to understand how it is you perceive what you do, and it affects your conscience. Conscience is considered a place where your morals and ethics lies in rest, but conscience also holds the potential to extend your perception beyond anything you've been taught or experienced before now. All that you were taught as children, what was right compared to what was wrong, will dramatically change. It is your wisdom-based conscience that will provide you with the reliable moral compass that will help to direct you in any kind of situation. Knowing right from wrong will not get you through every situation or event that life will challenge you with. You will not be able to fulfill your destiny, mission, or purpose just by living by what is right to what is wrong. Have you considered even the slightest, how will you ever realize your highest and most divine potential? Have you considered yet, how can you help or serve your fellow brothers or sisters of God? You have many important and possibly life-changing questions, and an inner compass that is based on morals alone will not be able to provide you with all the answers, but your conscience can. Your conscience provides you with the ability to perceive wisdom as it relates to your own personal circumstances, with your own individual and particular set of possibilities and opportunities. Yet to hear this voice of conscience, you must be willing to also serve. To act as conscience does not indulge your egocentric views and opinions of the world. It is very possible to become open to your own conscience. And you can learn to tell the difference of your conscience and the voice of your own egoism. It is necessary dear hearts to gradually learn how to develop your sensitive intuition into your inner perception, to your inner awareness of appropriateness and relevance. Sometimes the unpredictability of your hearts will clutter and bring your mind into a state of confusion during this process. You have so many desires, so many urges, wants, and needs that are pushing for attention that to hear the voice of your conscience among the noise of everything else that is vying for an inner spotlight can become quite difficult as you are then challenged to uncover all the noise and clutter and learn to discriminate intuitively. But with practice, time, and patience through meditation and other spiritual practices, you will be able to quiet your busy mind, you will be able to soothe your heart that supports the emergence of your conscience from all the noise that was once there. It is quite remarkable and easy to determine that conscience does see. Your conscience is able to see your own behavior, your inner self and your outer self from an objective and unbiased viewpoint. It is when your thoughts, feelings, and even your actions fall into the inappropriate, your conscience can see the truth of the situation, and will create moments of embarrassment and humility of having been seen, and having caught yourself in displays you would normally prefer to keep it in, even hidden from yourself. But if you allow yourself to be open to being able to view your ego-based behavior and attitude, conscience will become your hope and salvation to refinement and liberation. This dear hearts is how your higher self is able to speak to you, by seeing you just as you are, not who or what you pretend to be. You are shown the way towards cleaning out your inner self. It is also your conscience that will reveal to you what you are attached to and will guide you to areas in your life that truly needs letting go. Being open to conscience also requires you to be ready, willing, and able to follow its directions and motivations. Otherwise conscience will withdraw. The next step dear ones is making sure that any particular intuition of what you consider conscience does not disrupt your normal moral, ethical, and practical emotional responses, you then need to act upon it. You will have tests in hindsight. You might find yourself wondering if you made the right choice or chose the correct action. 
listening to your innermost intuition, and to perceive conscience is to discern what you are hearing. Are you hearing the voice of your inner truth or are you hearing the voice of our doubting egoic self? Understand dear hearts, in actuality your conscience is nothing less than your truest and most authentic self, your deepest will and connection to the divine and ultimately to God, the source of all the wisdom you have been able to accumulate thus far. The more you follow your own unique conscience, not someone else's ideas, the more intimately and complete you become your true and authentic self. It is not an easy process. It takes a lot of honesty and truthfulness to face change of any kind. Conscience as you may already know and somewhat understand, will often bring conflict to what you desire and what you hunger for. Yet on this path that will bring you freedom from the clutches of your egoic notions, you will face a series of choices that will sometimes be grand, that will challenge you to let go of egocentric attachments and expectations for betterment of the development of your true self and the wisdom that is growing. If you can accept the motivations and promptings from conscience, it will become a most wonderful guide. When you live in conscience dear hearts, well it is like inviting God himself to view and observe everything you do, from the inside out. What a marvelous thought that is. I am Archangel Haniel through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com